Hello, my name is Sandy Brown and I'm a Communication Sciences and Disorders major at the University of Kentucky. The topic that I have chosen for my local or communities issues project is the alienation of the opposing political party by students. Students often avoid others who do not share their exact political views regardless of their intentions. I chose this issue because, because it is prevalent to our community and it continues to grow every day. We see political parties blaming their opponent for anything that they disagree with, which causes a lot of friction within our community. We've all experienced this, especially as members of Gen Z, due to the social media that we encounter every day. TikTok and Instagram have all been major components of this because they increase the likelihood that people can share their opinions on the opposing political party. So then we, as a generation, decide to believe them regardless of the research done, our personal experiences, or any other information. My slogan for this argument is, who you have voted for is not who you are. I believe this perfectly encompasses my ideas and summarizes my argument. We, chose to tar we choose to target the opposing political party, whether it be Democrat or Republican, regardless of their intentions, personal experiences, or education on a specific issue. We target who they have voted for, who we believe that they have voted for, based off of their appearance, um, way of speaking, accents, anything that we find to identify them with one specific political party is how we judge them from there on. I have found some research already showing that parties even avoid some brands that they believe to be associated with other political parties. For example, Chick-fil-A is often associated with being Republican, which often means that the Democratic Party or members of the Democratic Party avoid it. This is true for many on the Republican side as well. What I found to be most interesting was an article on how partisans view and generalize others in certain areas. For example, Democrats believe the, that Republicans are very close-minded, and this is true over the course of the entire country. However, Republicans also believe um, Democrats to be close-minded, and we can see this in a survey done by PewResearch.org. I hope to present this information in the form of a PSA and inform the audience of how continuing this trend will be very detrimental to our community and future endeavors. Thank you.